Hi, I'm Zach Zacharias. I'm the Senior Curator of Education and History here at the Museum of Arts and Sciences in Daytona Beach. And I'm at the CC and Hyatt Brown Museum. And I'm in the local galleries. And the local galleries highlight watercolors and oil paintings of local landmarks here in Volusia County. And I'm standing in front of a beautiful uh, watercolor of Samson Hall, which is located on Jetson University's campus. Uh, and it's still there. It's a neoclassical building. And the artist uh, was Fred Lawrence Messersmith, who used to be the chair of the art department there for many, many years. Fred Messersmith is from Ohio, and uh, he was in World War II. Pretty interesting what he did in World War II. He was actually a flight instructor for the B-24 Liberator bomber. So he was an excellent pilot. But after the war, eventually he made his way down to Florida and took a job as an art professor at the Stetson University and then became the chair for a long, long time. I remember him when he used to come to the museum. Uh, he used to do some docent trainings for us here uh, when I first started at the museum many years ago. And here he captures Samson Hall, which was built in around 1900. And it was donated uh, with money from Andrew Carnegie. So Andrew Carnegie donated all millions and millions of dollars to libraries all around the world. And this is the result. Now it's called Samson Hall because uh, a trustee named Samson eventually gave money uh, for an endowment for uh, the library. Now this library is also interesting in the fact that it was the first university library that had a full-time librarian. Uh, so that was really interesting. So Samson Hall, as it is known today, does not function as the school's library. Uh, it has been used for many different purposes over the last 121 years. It is a neoclassical design. And here you see Messer Smith. He has taken up almost the entire composition with the building because it is neoclassical. It's very impressive. You have the white Corinthian columns. Education is power uh, written on top. It's made in brick. And it's also framed at least the center part of this magnificent uh, neoclassical historical building. The cabbage palms on the right, and then a tree here on the left. And then of course we have walkways here that lead you right up to the front door of uh, this once historic library. It's bright, colorful, lots of great detail. Um, and I really suggest to you that at some point, if you get a chance and you're in the land to drive through the campus and check out the Samson Hall, because it is absolutely beautiful.